Dear students and parents, my name is Namrata Paul. It is my pleasure as a middle and high school principal to welcome you to BTB School Orientation, school year 2021-22. We hope through our orientation, we can provide you not only with important information about our school, moreover, we will be able to make you feel the positive environment your child will experience while learning at BTB School. As a community, we emphasize on moral values, respect for each other, as well as respect for the natural environment. As a teaching and learning community, our shared mission is to provide quality international education that will develop a love of learning and stimulate students to become independent learners who will make a positive contribution to the global community. Our school motto, is developing wisdom. We look forward to a productive partnership with you as one community to ensure our children can achieve their highest potential. As you know, we all are facing the pandemic and we must adapt to the unknown and follow the health advisory to keep ourselves and our families safe. According to the latest announcement by the government, on-campus learning can only resume in green zone areas. As Jakara is still declared a red zone area, we will continue with our e-learning program until further notice. Although we are not able to start our academic year under norm normal circumstances, we would like to inform you that at our front, the entire academic team and admin fraternity has been busy planning, collaborating, and conferencing on various fronts to prepare and plan the coming semester in view of the current scenario. Please be assured we will continue to follow our syllabus and regular timetable as during on-campus learning. I would also like to inform everyone that we are fully prepared to start with our hybrid learning program as soon as it is declared safe by the government to do so. To begin with, we will start this program with our grade 12 first. In middle and high school, we use Manage Back application and Zoom conferencing to conduct our e-learning program. I'm proud of the fact that even under stressful circumstances, last academic year, we were able to successfully complete our syllabus, activities, and other events with our students' active participation and, of course, with the support of our parents. For the school year 2021-22, I would like to inform everyone that most of our classes will be live, which will give our students more opportunities for interactive learning and also socializing with their classmates. The live lessons will be conducted for a time duration of 35 minutes of teaching and 10 minutes of off-screen time for the students to relax. Some of the subject lessons will be conducted as live lessons and pre-recorded lessons both. Pre-recorded lessons will be uploaded according to the timetable schedule by the respective subject teacher and students can access and view the same on ManageBag according to their own convenience. For live lessons, teachers will conduct them according to the schedule given in the timetable. Certain rules to attend the live lessons would be Students will be sent the Zoom link for the live lessons via ManageBack and WhatsApp group by the respective subject teacher. Students must use their name to join for Zoom meetings. Their face should be visible and they shouldn't use any background profile or virtual background which could be distracting during live lessons. Students must not listen to music or watch videos during live lessons. If a student continues to disturb the live lesson after teacher's warning, the teacher will ask the student politely to leave or 
will remove that student from that lesson. All live lessons will be recorded and uploaded on ManageBack so that they can be viewed later if the student needs to do so. All students must wear school uniform while attending the live lessons. Students new in BTB must wear school uniform during the live lessons starting August 2, 2021. Students may wear smart casuals until July 30, 2021. Attendance will be taken during all live lessons. Students who are absent during these lessons, their parents will be notified of their absence via email. E-learning and technology-based teachings are wonderful tools to augment and facilitate learning. We will make sure to include activities, projects, presentations, science experiments, and other meaningful and interesting tasks in our e-learning program for the students to develop the love of learning. Parents are most welcome to contact the homeroom teacher for any queries regarding the e-learning program or any technical issues. Please note that parents can also see their child's progress and scores in ManageBack. After this presentation, we will continue with the Zoom meeting as we will have an orientation for parents on how to use the ManageBack application. If the parents would like to visit any of the main offices, please make note that the Admission and Student Services Department is on the first floor. Library is also situated on the first floor and is open for students on Monday to Friday from 7.15 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. For all financial matters, you can visit our finance office on the second floor. Let me tell you about my middle and high school team. All grade levels have one homeroom teacher and all subjects are taught by specialist teachers. We will be sending you information about your child's homeroom and other subject teachers along with the class list via email. Now let me explain to you about the different regulations and policies about my department in BTB school. Let me share some information now. BTB school offers three main languages, English, Bahasa Indonesia, and Mandarin. English is the language of instruction for all subjects except for Bahasa Indonesia and Mandarin lessons. As I mentioned earlier, that we will continue with our syllabus and other activities as per on-campus learning, I would like to inform you about our tests, exams, and grading system. One academic year is divided into four terms. Assignments and tests are conducted throughout the terms. Examination happens two times in one academic year. In grade eight, we offer Cambridge Checkpoint examination for subjects math, English, and science. It is optional for students. In grade 10, students take Cambridge IGCSE examination, which is mandatory for all students. For grade 11 and 12, school offers IB diploma program. The IB diploma examination are held at the end of grade 12. It is compulsory for all students to take the IB diploma examination. Please see the grading system given in the school diary for more details. Final ranking of students and their promotion to the next grade level will be calculated taking 50% from term two and 50% from term four. Let me tell you a little bit about our remedial classes. Remedial classes is a special feature offered by BTB school to help the students who need help or find a particular subject a little challenging. We would like to give extra support and guidance to those students who need extra attention by the teacher. You can read more in detail in our school diary regarding the criteria for joining the remedial classes. It is optional, but we highly recommend that the students who have been advised to take remedial 
must attend these classes to be able to come up to the required standard and do well in the upcoming tests or exams. Parents consent is required for the student to be able to attend the remedial classes which will also be conducted during our e-learning program. The next topic that I would like to discuss is about the streaming of subjects for Cambridge IGCSE and International Baccalaureate program. For Cambridge, that the students take in grade 9 and 10, they choose their streams at the end of term 2 in grade 8. And for International Baccalaureate program, which is for grades 11 and 12, students choose their subjects at the end of term 2 in grade 10. You can read in detail regarding streaming of subjects in our school diary. Let me give you some information regarding our assessment and awarding. <clears throat> regarding promotion to the next grade level, students must pass in all subjects in semester two report card in order to be promoted to the next grade level. <clears throat> if the student receives a below 60%, which is a letter C and which is our passing grade in more than three subjects then he or she will be automatically retained in the same class and will not be promoted to the next grade. If the student receives less than 60 percent in maximum two subjects the school will hold the right to promote with conditional promotion or retain the student considering his or her general academic and behavioral performance in class over the year. Students who have been granted conditional promotion will need to work hard in order to improve their scores in the next academic year. As receiving below 60% in two subjects or more in con two consecutive academic years will retain the student in the same grade level. And now about awarding. At the end of semester two, Students who are ranked first, second, and third from each class of a grade level, grade 6, 7, 8, 11, and 12, and from each stream of grade 9 and 10 are recognized and awarded with a certificate and trophy. Please note that the awarding criteria will be based on BTB school assessment policy. Going further, I would like to inform about the BTB school discipline policy. BTB school follows a strict discipline policy and seeks the cooperation of parents to do the same. All the infractions and administrative sanctions can be found in the school diary. For all infractions, parents are informed by the discipline master and are invited for a conference if required. I request you all to go through the discipline measures in the school diary to understand them in detail. Our school provides counseling services. Our school counselor, Ms. Viliana, can help students by providing support and guidance to students for their personal, psychological, and academic development. We also have a university and college counselor in our school, Mr. Gunther. The counselor provides guidance to students in exploring and gaining admission into colleges and universities around the globe. To know about the important dates about various events, activities, tests, and exams, please refer to our school calendar given in our school diary. Even though due to the ongoing pandemic, we are unable to conduct our events, competitions, various clubs, and after school activities physically on campus, I would like to inform everyone that last year, we successfully conducted our regular activities and events, most of them virtually. This year also, until it is deemed safe, we aim to conduct them virtually and give an opportunity to our students to actively participate by demonstrating their skills and talents and enhance their self-confidence. Our important events and activities can be found in the program calendar, which is provided at the beginning of the school year. Now let me tell you more about the program calendar, our events, our activities, competitions, clubs, and the regular activities. 
BTB school aims at providing a holistic development for all students. Fun activities are included in the curriculum to make the pro process of learning an enjoyable experience. Active participation in all activities and events, it enhances students' confidence as well as provides a platform to demonstrate their skills and talents. Our events for the coming school year would be Evacuation Drill. It will be conducted on campus or when blended learning will start. Orchestra. The preparations for orchestra for the coming performance will begin in semester one virtually. The activities to be conducted in the month of August would be Student Council Investiture Ceremony, Anti-Bullying Workshop, we will be celebrating Indonesian Independence Day, along with Sports Day. On Sports Day, students will participate in various games and sports via online. In the month of September, our students of Grade 9 will be joining a retreat program. It will be conducted virtually until the returning to the campus is deemed safe. In September also, we will have orientation on university admissions for our grade 11 and 12. University fair will happen where the parents can also join. The students and parents of grade 11 and 12 are invited for this event. We will have career day, which will give an opportunity to our students to explore various careers that they can opt after they complete their school education. What I mean is a dream, okay. It covers the being and then doing and having. In the month of September, we will also have English Day, which gives our students an opportunity to explore language outside their classroom through fun, engaging activities, such as spelling bee, storytelling, poetry recitation, speech, or debate. The environment is a healthy ecosystem, clean our water, purify our air, maintain our soil, regulate the climate, water, recycle nutrients, and provide us with food. In the month of October, we will celebrate National Batik Day. We will have UN Day celebrations. Welcome to Six Einstein's presentation about Japan. We will introduce to you about famous places in Japan and Japanese culture. We will conduct the aptitude test for grade 10. In the month of December, we will celebrate Digital Literacy Week. Welcome to our Digital Literacy Week. We have stored uh, some activities for you that you will definitely enjoy and you will learn from. My name is Sumi. Okay, so uh, I'm basically a software engineer. We will have Christmas celebrations in the month of December. In the month of January, Students of grade 9 and 10, along with their parents, are invited for a college or foundation fair. In January, grade 9 students will attend a sex education workshop. Chinese New Year will also be celebrated in January. In February, we will conduct an anti-drugs workshop for our students. April will bring the celebrations of Kartini Day. Raden Ajeng Kartini, engkaulah putri sejati, sang putri yang harum namanya. R.A. Kartini, cita-citamu sungguh sangat luhur. 
tak gentar untuk memberdekakan kaum wanita. And also the Science Day exhibition. In the month of May, we will have Isaac Day celebration. Namo Sang Yang Adi Budaya, Namo Budaya. Adik-adik yang berbahagia, pada hari ini kita berkumpul di sini melalui video call akan merayakan Waisak tahun 2021. And in June, we will have Recognition Day and also the Graduation Day for our graduating classes. So this was all about the events. Let's talk about some of the clubs that BTB School offers. We have Orchestra Club, wherein the club, it aims to train the students towards performing in an orchestra. Uh, with pride, I would say that we have already had one performance uh, of orchestra before, which was a huge success. We also have Mathematics Club, wherein the students uh, are trained and the club aims to participate and win in competitions like SASMO, CMOC, IJMO and ASMOPS. Next in line is our Robotic Club. The club aims to participate and win robotic competitions both regional and international. World Scholars Cup Club. This club aims to participate and win World Scholars Cup Regional Round, Global Round, and Tournament of Champions. The students for our clubs are selected through audition. It is a matter of pride if the student is chosen uh, for the club and they get the chance to showcase their talent and their potential and win prizes, medals, and perform on a bigger platform. The competitions that we will be participating in the coming school year would be ASMOPS, that would be Asian Science and Mathematics Olympiad for primary and secondary school. The regional champions in ASMOPS, they proceed to the global rounds. This competition is usually held in the month of August. The next in line in September, we will be having international competitions and assessments for school, which is generally known as ICAS. BTB students have been actively participating and winning gold medals in ICAS in the previous years. We have Indonesian MUN, also known as Model United Nations, which is usually held in the month of November. Model United Nations is a competition that stimulates the UN conference through discussing, negotiating and drafting upon current international issues. In line with the MUN, in January we have HMCA, the full form for which would be Harvard Model Congress Asia. It is a prestigious international competition for high school students with an opportunity to interact and work together with Harvard undergraduate students and discuss the ways to improve the world in different fields. In April, we will have some national competitions. Competency Science National, which was previously known as OSN, or Olympiad Science National. In April also, we will have Singapore and Asian Schools Mathematics Olympiad, SASMO. BTB students compete in SASMO on a national level to get selected for global rounds from CMOC and IJMO. In the month of May, World Scholars Cup happens. It is an international competition with different themes each year. The regional champions, they proceed to the global rounds which are held in different countries around the world. And the winners of the global competition then proceed to tournament of champions which is every year held at Yale University, USA. The students who are selected from SASMO, they proceed to CMOC and IJMO 
which are Singapore International Math Olympiad Challenge and the International Math Junior Olympiad, which are held in the month of June. I'm proud of all our students who have been actively participating in all the competitions in the previous years and have been bringing pride to BTB school. We are proud of them all and we hope that in future more students will come forward to showcase their talent, their caliber, their potential and win more prizes. Amongst our regular activities, BTB school offers after school activities which are both paid and free. For paid ASA, professional vendors are hired to conduct classes for students. Our own teachers, they conduct the free ASA lessons. Some of the free ASA our students can choose from are journalism, HSK Mandarin, IELTS, choir, and school band. For paid ASA, the students can choose from coding, manga, video editing, origami, and art and craft. You will receive a detailed information regarding our after-school activities through our ASA letter. Assemblies happen once in a month. This is a wonderful opportunity for our students to develop their communication skills, their time management while working collaboratively with other class members. Field trips. BTB students are given an opportunity to join the field trip that happens once in an academic year. Last year we conducted our field trips virtually and this year also until it is deemed safe. We hope that we will be conducting some interesting field trips for our students. Are you people excited for the field trip? Yes, yes me. Right. Wow. Almost all of the land reptiles are endemic, which means they exist only in that place or country. One of the Galapagos birds can't fly anymore because they don't need to fly, since they can just swim to catch fish. University and college counseling. Students are welcome to discuss their options of tertiary education with the school, university, or college counselor, Mr. Guntur. About remedial, as I had explained earlier, it happens once a week per subject. And I would like to repeat that even during e-learning, remedial classes will still continue. CAS. Creativity, Activity, and Service. This is mainly for our grade 11 and 12 students and is a mandatory requirement for their IB Diploma program. Next, I would like to talk to you about BTB Cares. BTB Cares is a very special program which involves the students in giving back to the community. I would like to share with you more about BTB Cares through this video. BTB Cares is BTB School's community outreach program that aims to bring people together, inspire change, and makes a difference in people's lives as a form of giving back to the community. Our community service program includes BTB for Environment, where students raise awareness to conserve energy, as well as reduce, reuse, and recycle. BTB Volunteers. BTB Volunteers offers every one of our students a chance to participate in volunteering programs planned for their age group. BTB Helping Hands. BTB Helping Hands is our community service program 
where we join up with national and internationally recognized community-based organizations to address a variety of social issues, as well as help in natural disaster response aid. In 2019, BTB school students raised funds by holding School Bazaar, and Family Fun Run event, which was participated by BTB School family and the general public. The money raised was donated to build schools for the students in Sumba, East Nusa Tagara. We joined up with Happy Hearts Indonesia, supporting children in Indonesia to have access to study in school premises. BTB school students also took active roles in completing the final stages of the project. I hope by joining BTB Cares, our students will become more humble, will be more wise, and feel proud of giving back to the community. That is all from my side regarding all the information that I would like to share during my orientation. I'm looking forward to a great partnership with you so that we can shape up the future of our children and help them become independent learners who will make a positive contribution to the global community. Thank you for your time, and I hope that information provided today during orientation will help you understand our school system and policies in a better way. Please feel free to contact us anytime in case you have any queries regarding the same. Let us now switch back to the Zoom meeting for further discussions.